Alright guys, how's it going? Today I'm bringing you a Windows 8 or 8.1 tutorial. Doesn't matter if you have 8 or 8.1, but if you're rocking 8, I recommend you upgrade to 8.1 because it's great. A lot of new additions, stuff like that. So let's get right on to this tutorial. This isn't my normal kind of video, but I haven't been able to upload for about a month now because of this issue. And it was just so frustrating, I had to share it in case any of you guys are having this problem. So let's get right in. The problem you guys are going to be having if you're watching this video is probably up here in the internet you're trying to connect to it's either gonna say limited or it's gonna say connected but you're not actually connected um there's a pool of problems that you could be having it just drops off sometimes and all of these go away and then you gotta wait for them to pop back up stuff like that but the issue you guys are probably gonna be having most common one is definitely limited connection or just internet drop off are I mean when you're surfing the web it's so annoying when you're trying to watch a video and then you look down in the right hand corner and you got that stupid yellow little logo horrible horrible I hate it I mean and this helped me uh, tremendously immensely is tremendously a word I don't know this helped me immensely immensely a lot helped me a lot so a lot of videos are going to tell you the power management way and the power management is a good way to do it and it should work for you but if it doesn't which is this is the video if the power management way doesn't work for you there is a different way that helped me and I was so frustrated because everyone was having the issue that I was having but everyone's was working everyone's was getting fixed it's not mine so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it if all these other tutorials aren't helping you okay so you're gonna come here you can do this by going you can click on open network and sharing center right there or you could go Windows key Q control panel right there network and internet network and sharing center I'm sorry if I'm going fast for you guys I've just done this so many times it's just in my brain so rewind the video and watch it again if you guys are uh, you know if you guys are if I'm going too fast for you guys or something like that so right here the Wi-Fi you're connected to go ahead and click on that bad boy uh, all this stuff is really uh, confusing I mean I don't really understand half of it either but just trust me this should work go to properties configure power management and make sure allow the computer to turn off this device to save power make sure that's unchecked because the computer will turn off your wireless router or turn off your connection to save power for some reason Windows 8 does this just stupid and you can also come over here to change adapter settings right click on him properties I'm getting a little error for some reason oh it's down here okay and just do the same thing from here that should work too but a different thing that you can do, I did all this and it still wasn't working. So if it's still not working, uh, glad you guys made it this far and this should help you. Go back to Q, search everywhere, and type in device manager. Here we go. And this is pretty much all of your drivers on everything uh, hooked up to your computer pretty much. So you're going to go uh, come down here to network adapters. And if you see a family controller or something like that, just um, ignore it for now. And right here you should see your wireless network adapter. Uh, it might not say the same thing unless you have the same card as me, but it should say somewhere around the lines of wireless network adapter. Something like that should have that. So you're going to want to right click on this, properties, up here, power management, and you're going to want to make sure this one is unchecked as well. That helped me a lot, but then I was still having some issues. So make sure that is unchecked as well. And another thing you can do that really sold it for me that worked now it's working fine is I uninstalled the driver completely just uninstalled it and then I reset my computer and when you because Windows 8 is awesome for the most part when it comes to drivers it will update the driver for you so when you come back so once you uninstall it right now which I'm not gonna do that uh, you will just close this out come down here your little Windows key and restart your computer and Windows 8 will find the missing driver and reinstall it and just make sure you go back to device manager device manager and you turn the power saving mode off and that should work for you guys it works for me um, I hope you guys don't get so frustrated if this doesn't work it really should there's really there the I mean, if it doesn't work, talk to your internet provider or something like that. I'm really sorry if it doesn't, but this should work for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. If it helps you out, leave a like. Let me know in the comments. It'd be really nice to let uh, me know if I made your guys' day or not. So thanks for watching. Hopefully I helped some of you guys out, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.